Hello my Facebook friends, <clears throat> this is Liam the Biomathematician here today. Get you in the right frame of mind, today's little post is all about statistics and data. Yesterday's paper, Sunday Life. Uh, first thing I do is, being a football man, I read all the football results. I could spend hours going through all that statistical data. Who's top of the league, who's leading goal scorer, who's elected to get promoted and... Uh, relegated etc 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 that's just statistical data right what this post is all about is all about the government's information sheet which is available for everybody it's called NISRA and I hope my post is not taken down or blocked because I am quoting from the government's own information sheet and according to NISRA, yeah, there are 1,728 access deaths. This is the data sheet, which you can download yourself. And there it is. It's down there. See that? That is the excess deaths of last year. What does excess death mean? Excess death means... It took the number of deaths the last five years, divided by, add them up, divided by five to get a mean average. And last year's surpassed the average death rate for the past five years by over 1,700. So clearly something is happening. Something is causing the increase in death rate this year. And we all know that it is a flu-like virus. Okay. Um... I'm now going to tell, read from you what the government says about the, how they record and collate the data. NISRA weekly provisional death statistics, which are based on death registration information collected by the General Register Office, count all deaths for COVID-19 was mentioned on the death certificate by the doctor who certified the death, whether or not COVID-19 was the primary underlying cause of death. The deceased... If the deceased had a positive test for COVID-19 and died within 28 days, whether or not COVID-19 was the cause of death, it was recorded as it will be recorded as a COVID death. That means that if I tested positive on a faulty PCR test, say last October, and had no symptoms and I was okay, and I got killed in a car accident two weeks later, because I'm a registered COVID positive. I would be down on the statistics as being a COVID death. Now, we now move to the place of death. Where did these excess deaths occur? And you can go to the government website again. All the information is on, on those websites, okay? Place of death, okay? And I'm going to show it to you. Here we go. The case of death was 77, 775 in a care home, 168 in the uh, hospitals. But we then go and dig even deeper. Now, the place of death of these, there are, there are 1,728 excess deaths. So I look to see where the hell was these excess deaths coming from. And I found out that 1,150 were coming from a hospital, recorded in hospital, and then 775 died in a care home. Now, 168 patients were removed from the care home and uh, put into the hospital where they subsequently died. So 168 added onto the 775 means 943 people actually were care home residents when they died. And 128 people died at home. Okay, those are recorded registered COVID 19 deaths. Now, let's look at the big one AIDS group. There's no, there's no question about it. People are dying of COVID. The hospitals are stretched, the staff are up to their eyes in work, they're underfunded. Nobody, none of my friends are ever saying anything derogatory about the hospital staff. I hope not. They're underfunded and underpaid. Right, this here is sex, equally male and female, but the big thing is this one. 
Between the ages of 1 and 14, nobody, nobody died of COVID-19. Between the ages of 15 and 44, 13 people recorded. Between the ages of 45 and 64, 134. Between the ages of 65 and 74, 261. Between the ages of 75 and 84, 628. And over 85, 794. Yeah. The old folk are feeling it worse. And, and that's, that's understandable because as you get older, your immune system theory is you're sitting in a care home, you're sitting there and you're not moving, you're getting no sunlight, not maybe, maybe not, not really good nutrition. And it's part and parcel of life. I am in the autumn of my life. I'm going to die someday. You're going to die. Everybody's going to die someday. Uh, but I'm taking precautions. I'm, I hope I'll live for a good long time. I take vitamin C, D and zinc. Yep. Now, other causes of death. I looked at other causes of death. So I went into the Nisera again and I discovered that they estimate roughly between 200 and 220 will die of suicide. I, I think it's going to be far more this year. Uh, in 2019, there's no data yet for, for heart-related deaths, but in 2019, 5,656 were heart-related. That's about 15 people a day. 15 people a day. Cancer. Um... Provisionally, 3,490, 3% higher. I reckon it's going to be more because a lot of cancer patients were taken out of hospitals and unceremoniously put in other places or sent home. And they're, they're, they're you know yourself, they're mad because they're, they're really looking treatment and they're not getting it. No fault of the hospital staff, by the way. It's just the way the shitty ways things run. Alcohol related deaths, there's no data yet for 2020. 284 in 2018, 336 in 2019. I reckon it's going to be very, very much higher this year because the off licenses are as busy as hell and uh, alcoholism is, is going to be on the, on the increase. Drug related deaths, 236. Again, I think that's going to be more. 56 people died on the roads. By the way, you get all, I got all the data from the government websites for alcohol. For the cancer, for drug-related deaths, all there. Now, this is the big one. This is the big, big one. A good friend of mine wrote to Nisra and asked him the following. Can you provide me with the weekly death totals where COVID-19 is the sole and exclusive reason for death listed on the death certificate? In other words, this person said, please, set, please give me the information, provide me with the weekly death totals and... Tell me exactly how many people died of COVID-19 alone. And they wrote back and give them this response. And, and give them. A, he asked, also asked for a, an Excel spreadsheet. And it's all there, my friends. It's all on the Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, can you see that there? Here we are. All on the Excel spreadsheet. And the answer was 113 people. Not so many people have died exclusively from COVID-19, right? Now, again, I'm going to go back to the, uh, oh, it's a little thing. I then delved even deeper and I wanted to see was there any other recorded deaths from respiratory ailments because that's what this COVID-19 is. And there was no report for 2020, but there was for 2019. And in 2019, flu was registered as cause of death in 26 people. Pneumonia, 631, and chronic lower respiratory disease, 918. Chronic lower respiratory disease is COPD and COPD-like symptoms. A total of 1,575 people died in 2019 from respiratory system, uh, symptoms. Where did they go this year? They are not to be seen anywhere this year. Yep. Yeah. So my friends, listen, I'll show you something else. Just to get my point across. I want you to meet Buddy. Buddy is six months old, right? Roxy is three and a half years old. We've already got one that are pups out of her. Her old Telly is 13 and a half years old. Stone, stone deaf, hardly any teeth. Just wants to lie up and do what dogs do. If this was a human being, Tilly would be in a care home, yeah? 
Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because life is about birth, living, and then death, yeah? Oh! Death is part and parcel of, of life. And the people who are dying with this ailment are people who are in care homes, people who are old, and they're, when, when you get old, your immune system gets weaker and weaker and weaker. So if I was Minister of Health, what I would do is I would... Uh, I would give out free vitamin D, C and zinc to every household in Northern Ireland. I would tell people over 65 who are in retirement, like me, to take it easy and be careful where you go out in company, especially during that flu season. Get out into the sun and get plenty of vitamin D when the summer comes around, yeah? And I would say also, stop dumping people, old people out of hospitals into care homes out of the road where they're not getting the proper treatment. I would put more money into the National Health Service, get more equipment and get more staff. I would try and treat all those people who are at home suffering from major ailments like cancer, diabetes, heart disease. Uh, it's not right that those people are being subjected to this, this regime of, of, of COVID-19 being the only and sole life destroyer in this country, my friends. So please comment on that there and... Uh, you can't argue with statistics. You can't argue with statistics. 113 people died of COVID-19 alone. If you have got other um, ailments, it means your immune system, your, your body's controlled by your immune system. Your immune system soldiers are out in other parts of your body protecting you. So if you have major symptoms, your immune system cannot deal with the, with the virus that's coming into your lungs, yeah? That's why people are dying who have got other symptoms. So if you have other symptoms, you need to, to, to watch yourself and adhere to the, uh, the screening processes that people advise you to do. If you, if you haven't got any, any major symptoms, get out and enjoy yourself, have a bit of crack, and behave as normal before people's heads start going crazy, my friends. So statistics, you cannot argue with statistics.